Pilots experience different flight characteristics of an aeroplane when flying very close to the ground. For example, during the landing phase, a cushioning-like effect makes the aeroplane feel like it wants to float above the ground. This is known as the ground effect, and this is how it works. An aeroplane in normal flight, high above the ground, is subject to an undesirable force called induced drag. This force is the byproduct of lift production and is caused by the airflow below the wings spilling around the wingtips, above the wings, and creating a large twisting vortex. The twisting vortex causes a downwards deflection of the relative airflow. Consequently, the lift vector tilts backwards and extra drag is created. When an aeroplane is flying closer to the ground, the downwash is restricted, so the formation of the wingtip vortices is also restricted. In ground effect, the lift vector is not tilted back as much, so total drag is less. This means that less thrust is required to maintain the same airspeed. In ground effect, the air pressure on the lower wing surface is slightly increased, so more lift is generated. This is what contributes to the cushioning sensation experienced by the pilots. Ground effect is most noticeable when the aeroplane is flying above ground at a height of less than half its total wingspan. The effect is stronger the closer the wings are to the ground surface. Ground effect plays an important role during takeoff and landing. During takeoff, as the aeroplane climbs out of the ground effect, the wing's ability to generate lift decreases and induced drag increases, which results in reduced climb performance. When the aeroplane enters the ground effect on an approach to land, it tends to float longer due to the extra lift and lower drag. Ground effect may also decrease the stalling angle of attack, cause the airspeed indicator to read low, and change the stability characteristics of the aeroplane when flying closer to the ground surface. Mm.